welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here it's saturday so that means it is grocery haul day this week i simply went to walmart it's been a while since i went into a walmart as you know i generally do walmart grocery pickup so i thought i'd change it up a little bit and see what is new at walmart and i found some super exciting new finds. I'm also going to share meal prep and my meal plan with you after I share the grocery haul. So we have lots of fun headed your way on this beautiful Saturday. If you're new, I'd love it if you'd stick around and subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload most days of the week. So we'd love it if you'd stick around. If you love grocery hauls, thumbs up this video and let's jump right into this week's grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I made it easy on myself and I just went to Walmart. It's been a long time since I've perused all the aisles at Walmart. So I wanted to do that, kind of see if they had anything new. And I actually found a couple of new things that I'm pretty darn excited about. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So you guys know my husband loves these little bites in the party. Normally I buy the small box five packages for about $3. I did not even know Walmart had the value pack. 10 bags for $5. So you actually ended up saving a little over a dollar buying the value pack. So that was a great score. Something I didn't know that they had by just doing grocery pickups. So picked those up for him. Another new thing is this Natural Bliss Coconut Milk Creamer in Sweet Cream. Okay, you guys, how incredibly exciting is this? I see no natural flavors and I see no carrageenan. So if you are looking for a regular creamer, full sugar, full fat, full everything, this Natural Bliss, Bliss Coconut is amazing so i'm so excited that i found this i've been just sucking up the natural flavor and buying creamer but since i found this this is a huge game changer for me so definitely check this out next time you're grocery shopping i had to get a couple of sauces for some recipes first i needed some hoisin sauce this was actually the only one that walmart had so i picked that up and then i'm making chicken marsala so i need a marsala cooking wine and I actually had to ask someone where this was I've never made chicken marsala before so this is in the same aisle as the other vinegars and cooking wine so if you're looking to recreate that recipe once I make it I did decide to grab a couple of two good yogurts while I was there I've been really liking yogurt as a snack with a little bit of granola on top so I grabbed the two good peach and the two good vanilla those are pretty versatile flavors some more Parmesan cheese. Walmart has literally the best price, even better than Trader Joe's. So I grabbed that just to have on hand. And actually I have several recipes this next week that call for Parmesan. So I will definitely be going through all of that. I needed some ground chicken and this was the only option at Walmart. Unfortunately, it's not organic. It's not necessarily something I would normally buy, but because it was the only option, it was pretty picked over if I'm being honest. So I decided to go ahead and grab this because I need ground chicken for meal prep. And then I did grab another pack of the No Antibiotic Simply Raise 99% Ground Turkey. I've mentioned before that in my area, this is the cleanest, so to speak, ground turkey that I can find. So I picked up another pack of that. We needed some Fiesta blend or Mexican blend shredded cheese. So I grabbed the reduced fat and then some string cheese. This is for my husband. He likes to take string cheese in his lunch. And this is actually a really good choice for a snack. And even though it's not light, it's still really point friendly. I needed ham for a dinner recipe. And I really enjoyed this natural choice. Now I was looking for the Applegate and that's what I normally buy, but they were all out. They only had the turkey. So this was the next best thing. You can have four slices of this for 60 calories in the points that were on the screen here, but this is a great choice. It tastes really good and it'll be a good addition to my recipe. So this is a new thing. So I bought some strawberries and my husband said, what about some of that strawberry glaze for the strawberries? So I found it. Now I debated on getting the sugar free. I was just going to get the regular until I flipped it over and saw that the regular had high fructose corn syrup and I will not eat that. So this is the lesser of two evils. Although this does have sucralose in it and natural flavors. It's only 10 calories for a tablespoon. Still not the best, but he wanted it. And I thought that if this gets him to eat his strawberries, it's a win. Also for him, I grabbed these ranch dipping cups. Like I 
explained in my what I eat in a day that went up on Wednesday, I got an imperfect foods box. And in that box, I got a bag of tricolored baby carrots. He really likes those and we are out all out of ranch. So I'll throw the carrots in one of these little ranch cups in a sandwich bag and he takes that to work. And great, it's a great way to get him in his vegetables and he really, really likes it. So I picked up that. And then to no surprise to anyone, I grabbed another six pack of the GT's kombucha. Love it, fabulous price had to do it and then i picked up a jar of sliced mushrooms this is for a dinner recipe they did not have organic in fact honestly most of their organic canned fruits and vegetables were pretty picked over well really most things were picked over so i grabbed those and then i also picked up two cans of the diced organic fire roasted tomatoes for a couple of different recipes some beef broth also for a dinner recipe. And then I saw this and I grabbed this for my husband. I won't eat it because I don't like it, but he loves three bean salad. And this is ready to eat in a can. And I thought that he would really like this. So hopefully he does. And I'll let you guys know what he thought, but yeah, grab that. And then also a big can of diced tomatoes fire roasted in the big can because I have one recipe that calls for this. So this is a better deal than buying the individual cans, but sometimes your recipe calls for 28 ounce. Sometimes it calls for 15. So I like to have a little bit of variety of everything. Then I found the mother load, dun dun dun, of Kali Power products. I was so excited, literally in my mask, I said yes when I found the chicken. And then next to the chicken were these. Now I've never seen these. These are the sweet to toasts by Kali Power. So these are the best things since sliced bread, roasted sweet potato slices. And you guys, look at this. Ingredients, sweet potatoes. You can have three slices for 80 calories or zero points on the purple plan. Zero points because there's no added oil. And I thought, how fun would this be to make avocado toast on in place of bread? And you can actually have three of these for the point. So I am excited. I grabbed that one. And then I also got the sea salt and olive oil roasted sweet potato slices. So in these, look at your ingredients. Sweet potatoes, olive oil, and salt. 90 calories for three pieces. So I can't wait. I think these would be great side dishes with dinner. They would make great avocado toast. And they even show you a couple of fun things on the front here, peanut butter, banana. I am so excited. I've never seen these before. So yay, Walmart. And then of course I grabbed another bag of the new chick on the block spicy ish and the new chick on the block original, because you guys know I love these and I love to put these in my salad. So I literally hit the mother load. I was so excited. And then I grabbed some more Yasso bars. These are a couple flavors I haven't tried. One of you told me about this one and that it was delicious, so I grabbed it. This is the Fudge Brownie Greek Yogurt Bar. These are five points a piece. I love these and they have five grams of protein. Now, again, are they the best ingredients? No. Are they better than a lot of the options? Yes. So I am excited about that one. And then I've actually had this one before and I love it. This is the Coffee chocolate chip. So these were less than $4 a box, which I believe at Target, they were $4.50. So that's a really, really good price. So I grabbed two of them. And then I picked up some sun-dried tomatoes for a dinner recipe. I wish these were organic, darn it. And then look at this, another talk about hitting the mother load. They had Clorox wipes. So I grabbed two. There wasn't very many and I felt really greedy by taking more than two. So I just grabbed two and that'll be enough to basically last me for quite a while to clean bathrooms and things. So check your aisles at Walmart or any store to see if they have them. They seem to not be disappearing as quickly. So I grabbed both flavors, the fresh flavors. Okay. Scents, the fresh and the lemon. And then before we get into produce, I also picked up some Vital Farms pasture raised eggs. Now for produce, I want to preface this with I was pretty disappointed in the selection at Walmart and this is why I normally go to Trader Joe's, but lesson learned, Trader Joe's is my jam for produce. I was able to find some organic mushrooms sliced on sale for $2.43, which is more expensive on sale than at Trader Joe's. So again, Trader Joe's for the win some limes, some organic limes. Their lemons were so expensive. They were twice the price of Trader Joe's. So this week it's limes in my water. I needed snow peas. They didn't even have any organic. So I grabbed these. These are going to get washed really, really well. Some organic bananas for a recipe. And then I like to freeze these, as you know, for smoothies. 
a big, huge watermelon, which by the way, on sale was 50 cents more than Trader Joe's. And then I did grab some steamable veggies because I really like their organic steam steamable veggies at Walmart. So this is the California blend, carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. And then I actually need peas for a recipe. So other than a big, huge 30 pack of Coors Light for my husband, that is this week's grocery haul. So let's jump into what is on the menu for meal plan and meal prep. Let's take a look at what I am doing for my meal plan for dinners for the week, as well as for meal prep that you guys will see on Monday. So I do use the monthly portion of my meal planner. I do use the Cariel. This is basically what it looks like. I love it so much. As you guys know, I do have 10% off for Cariel. I'll link that down below for you guys. But I do use the monthly just to at a glance to see what I am making for dinner. It helps me know that I need to take maybe meat out of the freezer or also just to make sure that I have everything I need on hand for the next night's dinner. And then each week you also have a weekly menu where you can write down really all of your meals. If you're not someone that meal preps, you can write down what you're going to be doing for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And then there's this beautiful detachable grocery list that comes with me every single week to the store. So here is this week's meal plan for dinner. So this is the week of 7-Eleven through 7-17. So today, Saturday, we always get takeout or go out to eat and support a local business. So today we are going out for dinner. Tomorrow I am making a one skillet pasta. I'm excited for this. You guys will actually see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned for that. Monday is turkey fried rice and wontons. I have those leftover wonton wrappers from meal prep this last Monday. If you haven't seen that video, I made three amazing recipes. I'll link that down below for you guys. So I'm gonna use those wonton wrappers and do some air fried wontons with the fried rice. Tuesday is chicken marsala and veggies. My first attempt at chicken marsala, so I'm excited for that. We'll do leftovers on Wednesday just because we generally have some leftovers by this point. Thursday is beef taco pie. So this is a clean, healthy spin on maybe a not so clean, healthy taco pie. And then Friday we'll do leftovers again just to finish up whatever we have left over from the first part of the week. And here's what is on the agenda for meal prep. Now you guys will see this on Monday. So definitely keep an eye out for meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making a five minute oatmeal power bowl. So this is going to be packed with everything good, clean, healthy, and filling. I can't wait for that. Lunch is chicken meatball casserole. So I've been really craving meatballs again, but I kind of wanted a casserole. So I'm pairing those together for the best of both worlds and making a chicken meatball casserole. And then my friends, look at the snack. Look at the snack. We are doing almond butter blondies. I cannot wait. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep where you will see all three of this week's meal prep recipes. Thank you so much for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I seriously hit the mother load with the Collie Power and I'm obsessed with that. If you follow my channel, you know I eat my little Jen salad with the Collie Power on there all the time. So I was excited to find some new finds from them as well as a few other new finds to try this next coming week. So if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you'd stick around. All you have to do is hit the little subscribe button there and the bell next to it, and you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single one or a grocery haul on a Saturday. Give this video a thumbs up if you love some grocery hauls. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and of course, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.